Pantone Essentials is the whole package. It's the real deal. It's a complete solution for great color reproduction. Want to know more? Stick around. I'm about to explain everything that's included in this amazing case and how each part is used. Think about it. Four minutes from now, you'll understand how to use this powerful set of tools to get great color every time. Inside this stylish case, you'll find formula guides for coated, uncoated, and matte stock. Four color process guides for coated and uncoated stock. And the color bridge for coated stock. The color swatches in all of these guides are printed edge to edge to make it easy to compare colors during press and proof checks. Okay, let's start with the formula guides. These are the heart of Pantone's ink system for spot color printing. They're the reference source that designers, agencies, and print shops use to effectively communicate solid colors from concept to press. On the first two pages of the guide are the 14 basic Pantone colors. They include some names you might recognize like Rhodamine Red, Orange O21, and Reflex Blue. When mixed in the correct proportions with each other and transparent white, we get the full palette of 1,114 formula colors that you see in this guide. Each color is labeled with its own unique identifier. The C, U, or M indicates if the color is printed on coated, uncoated, or matte paper. Next to the boldface Pantone number are the formula mixes in both parts and percentages. This is the recipe using the basic 14 to create each color. If there's a series of dots beneath the Pantone number, it means the color can be accurately reproduced using four color offset printing. In other words, the color is within the CMYK color space. When creating a design that uses one or more Pantone spot colors, be sure to specify them within the software you're using. Let me show you. In the swatches palette of your page layout software, create a new swatch. Then select the Pantone solid coded library and type in 103. Pantone 103 is now part of this document's color library. You can quickly and easily colorize text, borders, or other objects. Next up, the process guides. The first page of the guide shows the four process colors, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Each are printed as solids and as quarter, mid, and three-quarter tints. All of the other colors in the guide, more than 3,000 of them, are created from varying combinations of two or more of these colors. Again, each swatch has its own unique identifying number. In addition to the DS prefix that is used worldwide, there's also a DE prefix that indicates a European ink set. The suffix indicates the paper stock, coded or uncoated. Under that is the process color build expressed in percentages. When you assign colors in your design applications, make sure you use the exact same CMYK values, or select the color by number from the process coded and uncoded libraries available in all leading design applications. Because all of these swatches were created using CMYK inks, this is the best color selection tool to use when you won't be printing Pantone spot colors. Many designers use process simulations of Pantone matching system spot colors, which is fine, but keep in mind the process guides offer almost three times as many colors. Last but not least, sitting between the formula guides and the process guides is the new color bridge, which replaces the solid to process guide. There are 1,089 Pantone solid colors in the color bridge. Right next to the solid color is the closest matching CMYK version of that color. The process color names end with either a PC suffix or, for the European community, an EC suffix. Use the color bridge to fine-tune your designs. While the formula guide identifies whether the color can be reproduced in CMYK, the bridge actually shows it. You can see right away if the process color will be close enough or if you need to specify a spot color. Underneath the swatches are the RGB values for the spot color. These values provide the best possible match across the widest range of monitors for on-screen viewing. You can even match Pantone colors in Microsoft Word or PowerPoint by entering these values into their RGB sliders. There are also HTML hexadecimal color values for you web designers out there. Now it's simple to quickly match Pantone colors on web pages. Remember to protect your Pantone essentials and treat them well. In exchange, they'll give you 12 months of accurate color matching. But all good things come to an end.
After a year, it's time to replace your set for guaranteed, fresh, accurate color. Check with a Pantone dealer near you for more information.